Hey, my name is Jackson Heil, and I'm doing my presentation on Captain Florent Groberg. Captain Florent Groberg was born in 1983 in France, a small city right outside of Paris. And when he was in about sixth grade, he moved to the United States in the Chicago, uh, Illinois area and went to a school uh, for like foreign students until he was able to transfer to like a regular school. Uh, after that, he moved to Maryland, Bethesda, Maryland, where he ran track in his high school and he received a full scholarship to uh, the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, to run track. And um, after a semester there, he realized being on the beach at such like a big school, there were a lot of distractions. So he decided to move back to Maryland where he went to UM UMD. Um, he, was, he did track and cross country at, at the U University of Maryland. And then in 2006, he graduated with a degree in criminology and criminal justice. Um, he entered the army in July of 2008. He went to basic training and then attended officer candidate school at Fort Benning, Georgia, uh, where he commissioned as an infantry officer in 2008. After completing the infantry officer basic course, uh, the mechanized leaders course, U.S. Army Airborne and Ranger School, he was assigned to the 4th Infantry Division at Fort... Fort... Uh, Carson in Colorado. Um, in November of 2009, uh, Captain Groberg deployed to Afghanistan as part of Task Force Lethal with responsibility for the Pesh River Valley in Afghanistan's Kunar province. Uh, he returned home in 2010 and he was a continued serving as a platoon leader um, until October in 2010. Uh, from October 2010 to November 2011, he served as the um, battalion or the company executive officer for an infantry um, company in the Fourth Infantry Division. Uh, he deployed again to the Kunar Providence in February of 2012, um, where he received his Medal of Honor. Uh, he was promoted to captain in July of 2012, and um, he became a member of the uh, Task Force Lethal in 2012. Um, the story of how Captain Groberg received his Medal of Honor was he was leading a team of like high-ranking officers in the United States Army and some Af an Afghan general, as long as well as like other leaders, um, he had them in like a, a diamond-shaped formation with like you know the uh, two battalion commanders, the two brigade commanders, the Afghan general in the middle, and then he had like a diamond around them, like le leading them with um, like his team. Um, he noticed while they were walking that there was a um, like a couple of guys being like sketchy, and uh, at one point one of them started charging the team. Uh, he had uh, like a death switch or something like that, where like you press it, and then when you release it, that's when the bomb explodes. In case like you get shot or something, uh, you could still detonate the bomb. Uh, so. The suicide bomber pressed it and charged the team, and without hesitation, Captain Groberg charged the man, grabbed him, threw him to the ground, and upon hitting the ground, his bomb or his like suicide vest went off. Um, when Captain Groberg saw the man, all he didn't know that he was a suicide bomber. Uh, he didn't know until he actually grabbed the the suicide bomber's chest and through him, he just saw somebody coming towards his team with like something under their clothing, something sticking out of their chest. So upon hitting the ground, the bomb went off, like immediately just like,
cause is like crazy. There was a second suicide bomber there. So consequently, the bomb went off on the second suicide bomber. Uh, thankfully, that caused minimal damage to the team. But the um, team did happen to lose two majors, one Army major and one Air Force major, a um, Afghan official, as well as a command sergeant major. Um, their names are... And their names are U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Kevin J. Griffin, U.S. Army Major Thomas E. Kennedy, U.S. Air Force Major Walter D. Gray, and Mr. Rajay Abdel Fattah of um, the USAID Foreign Service Officer. Um, so when the bomb detonated, immediately it ripped off uh, Captain Groberg's leg. He looked down and he said that he could see like the the skin burning with his like bones sticking out and he, he was losing blood when a um, first or sergeant first class dragged him out of the way and their um, medic was able to apply a tourniquet on Groberg's leg which definitely saved his life. If it weren't for him, uh, he would have been receiving the war posthumously. Um, so, Groberg, he's written, like, books. Um, he, one of his famous, like, uh, sayings was, is, like, people being like, well, why did you do it? Like, you know, it wasn't, he, and he always replies with, it wasn't a decision that took 30 seconds to make, uh, or, uh, like, a long time to make. He said the whole thing happened in 30 seconds, and it was eight seconds by the for the time that I saw the suicide bombers and the time that I jumped on him and pushed him to the ground. Um, and he says that the hardest part is uh, losing four of his brothers. Uh, he was very humbled about receiving the uh, the award. Um, now his life after the service, uh, recovering from his injury, he spent year, like three years in and out of treatment, um, like long-term care at the um, Walter Reed National Military Hospital from about 2012, like right after the accident, to May of 2015, over three years later. Um, Captain Groberg is now the director of veteran outreach for um, Bo Boeing, uh, which means he's really just in charge of like representing Boeing support for military families and their veterans. Uh, Captain Groberg now is, um, he, his uh, awards and decorations include the Bronze Star with one Bronze Oak Leaf Cluster, Purple Heart, Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal with one Bronze Oak Leaf Cluster. Afghan Campaign Medal with three Bronze Service Stars, Global War on Terrorism Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, NATO Medal, Combat Infantryman Badge, U.S. Army Parachutist Badge, U.S. Army Ranger Tab, and Meritorious Unit Commendation. Um, all in all, uh, Captain Groberg uh, risked his life for his country uh, he threw himself in almost certain death and was lucky enough to survive. Um, he's now medically retired from Company B Warriors, Warrior Transition Battalion as a captain on 23 July uh, in 2015.